Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Recently I've been posting some things and mentioning in my videos that um, refer to gentle parenting or um, grace-based parenting. And I've gotten quite a few comments and questions on the subject, so I thought I would do a quick video just to let you know what I mean when I say gentle parenting or grace-based parenting. I would like to give a little disclaimer saying that I am not in any way telling anyone how you should or should not parent. Every family is different. Every child is different. This is just what works for me and my family and why. There are a lot of different philosophies as far as grace-based parenting and gentle parenting and um, I'm not really structured in any kind of a box. What I mean when I refer to gentle parenting or grace-based parenting is that I try to treat my children how I want them to treat people. So that means not raising my voice at them, not hitting them, um, trying to be the peacemaker in a situation, try to keep my calm, try to, um, you know, use my words instead of getting mad and slamming a door, those type of things. And the thought behind this philosophy of parenting is that we're empowering our kids to choose to do the right thing because it's the right thing, not because they are afraid of being punished or afraid of getting into trouble. Now that doesn't mean that you don't set limits for your kids. It doesn't mean that you don't have boundaries for your kids. It's just um, how you react to a situation. The main underlying thought of grace-based or gentle parenting is that we don't want to parent our children using fear as a tool. We don't want them to be afraid of getting into trouble or afraid to tell us the truth. We don't want them to um, be afraid. And back to a Christian standpoint, Jesus said that perfect love casts out fear. So that's kind of the underlining mainstream reason for the way I parent the way that I do. Just because you choose to parent gently or grace-based parenting, that doesn't mean that you don't set limits and you don't set the rules. It doesn't mean you let your children do whatever they want to do. No, it's again, just how you choose to react to the behavior. Kids are kids. They're going to be kids. They're going to get into trouble. They're going to make messes. They're going to frustrate you and sometimes maybe even make you angry. They're not going to listen. They're going to throw tantrums. That's just kids. They are children. They have not had the opportunity that we've had to learn how to control our emotions for over a lifetime. They've had just a couple of years to try to figure out these big emotions and they don't know how to control them yet. But by us losing our temper, it's all it's doing is feeling the flesh. I recently had someone say that gentle parenting is another way of putting lazy parenting, that you don't want to take the time to discipline your children. And I have to completely disagree with this because it's actually a lot harder to go against your natural instinct to get frustrated and to raise your voice and to act on that frustration. It's a lot harder to take a breath, think about what you're doing, try to remain calm as best you can, say mommy is getting really frustrated right now, this is what we need to do or this is what I need to do. And it's hard, it's hard to do that, especially if it goes against how you yourself were raised. If you were raised in an environment where parents did raise their voice and that was a natural thing, or um, if there was you know, physical punishment or fear of punishment in any form, it, you know, it takes a lot to kind of go do a U-turn on how you your perspective of parenting has always been and to kind of change your way of thinking. Before I had children, I never thought that I would be a grace-based parent or a gentle parent. I thought that I would raise my children the same way that I was raised and that was if you know, if you do something bad, you're going to get in trouble. Period. That's the way it was. In my opinion, it's a lot more effective for your child if, you know, when they do something wrong and you're really talking them through it rather than, um, you know, you're in trouble, go sit in your room, go do this, whatever, and then that's the end for a certain amount of time and then that's the end of it. Rather than that, you know, try to go through with them 
what's happening, why it's happening. Okay, you're in your room because you're screaming. If you're ready to be calm, then you can come downstairs and we can talk. Another comment that I received was that grace-based parenting or gentle parenting goes against the Bible. And this is a touchy subject. This is one of those things that you're probably either going to love me or hate me after this video. <laughs> but, um, so I struggled with this myself because I, when I had my son, that's really what initiated me wanting to have a really solid faith and a real relationship with God and with Christ. So at the time I had him, you know, I'm holding this baby and I'm knowing that eventually I'm going to have to consider discipline and how I want to handle that. And I didn't want to go against, you know, what other Christians were telling me was the standard and it was a very confusing time for me, but after a lot of research and a lot of reading the Bible and a lot of researching translations and also a lot of prayer, <laughs> I came to the conclusion that grace-based parenting is for me and Jesus is behind me. <laughs> and there are some, there's a lot of scripture reference to that. And I mean, Jesus first of all, he brought grace. He died on the cross for us so that we could have grace. And we sometimes as parents are so quick to not extend that grace to our kids. And it's just really sad and doesn't make a lot of sense. But um, that I could do a whole another video on that. If that's something that interests you, you leave me a comment down below and I'll do another video on that where I will go into actual like scripture detail and give you scripture reference on things of why I came to this conclusion, but um, I'm not going to do that in this video. Our children are little sponges and ultimately they're going to mimic our behavior. So if we are harsh with them, if we, you know, get angry and grab their arm or, you know, hit them or whatever, they're going to mirror that behavior. Like it or not, that's just what the truth is. They may not hit you, but they will hit another child or, you know, somebody else because it's just the behavior that they're mimicking. They are just doing what they think is the right thing to do, the right way to handle a situation. If you get frustrated, if somebody's doing something that you don't want them to do, this is how you react. And you can't really explain it away to them because that is what you're doing. If you don't like the way your child's acting, you're reacting to that and teaching them. So there you go. <laughs> For parents who use corporal punishment or children who um, are exposed to physical discipline or even just, you know, the yelling and the har more harsh forms of discipline, there are a lot of studies that show that those children are affected by that, both physically and emotionally and mentally. And no, that's not to say that every single person who ever got smacked as a kid is all messed up. No, of course that's not the case. But it doesn't mean that there's not a better way to do things now. The argument, oh, well, I got spanked as a kid and I turned out just fine. Well, that's fantastic. Good for you. That's really, truly great. But that's not the case for everybody, and that doesn't mean that there's not a better way of doing things. We have to, as a society, be willing to evolve and to learn and to grow and to change. And for to a degree, we are like that. Otherwise, we would, I mean, look, look at the past. We used to have people as slaves. I mean, that's just terrible, but that was the accepted thing to do. And we have grown and evolved as a society and realized that there's a better way to do things. And that's not okay. And it's not right. And I don't understand why people have such a hard time grasping that concept when it comes to our kids. If you went to work and you know, you got angry at your boss and you you know, hit your boss or yelled at your boss, you'd lose your job and you might even get arrested. But it's okay to treat a small defenseless child that way. It just doesn't make any sense. The whole, you know, spanking your child for hitting another kid, don't even get me started. I'm saying it's that it's wrong if you spank your children. But I am saying that there are other options out there that are okay. And don't let anybody pressure you and tell you that you have to discipline your children a certain way because of any certain standard, whether they're saying it's because, you know, it's in the Bible or because, um, you know, 
whatever the case may be, don't let anybody tell you how to raise your children. Remember, God gave your child to you, not to your mom, not to your grandparents, not to your neighbors, not to anybody but you. Your child is yours and God has entrusted you with this child. So ultimately it's between you and God how you decide to parent your child and to discipline your child. So that is my definition of gentle parenting or grace-based parenting. Again, if you would like a little more um, of the biblical detail of why it is okay to be a gentle parent despite what it says in Proverbs 23, um, then I would be happy to do a video on that and give you some scripture reference on there. Or if you have any other questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. If you wanna ask me a question about this subject or anything else, but you don't wanna do it in a public forum, go ahead and email me. I'll link my email down below and I'll be sure to get back with you on that. But thank you for hanging with me through this touchy subject today. And uh, like I said, you might either love me or hate me now, but I love all of you and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.